So first things first, when you walk into the room, you'll notice that I have two soft box lights and those are going away because they just take up unnecessary room and I don't need them at the present moment. Then you have a filing cabinet, you have laundry softener on the floor, you have a broom in the corner, and then here's my desk and then my futon that as of right now is just a dumping ground for laundry that's been folded or that needs to be done. And then I have like folding shelves on the wall that I think I'm gonna keep. But one of the things that I want to do is do something here to make an accent wall, reposition the desk, get a new rug, and um, just overall make this space functional. Cause right now it's not, um, and please don't judge me for the clutter. <laughs> I'm working on it. So yeah, this is what we're working with. And let's get started. The first thing I did before heading to Lowe's was measure the wall. Then I headed to Lowe's to pick up some MDF board. I picked MDF because it was relatively cheaper than plywood. The size that I picked was two and a half. And then one of the things that I did was have it pre-cut at Lowe's. You can also do the same thing, I believe, at Home Depot, but don't quote me on it because I know every company has their own policy on what they will and will not cut. So once the rest of my MDF board was cut, I gathered the rest of my tools and then I went home and I was kind of excited to just get started. So I took out all the tools and materials out of my car and I started to kind of lay the pieces where I wanted them to go as far as the frame. And it's at this point that I realized that I messed up. And when I say that, I assumed that all corners were the same and that's in fact not true so it's important to measure both <laughs> sides which is not what I did I measured the middle and of the wall height wise and the middle of the wall width wise and I say this point to say that don't do like me do better than me because what ended up happening was the MDF board was way too long and it wasn't fitting the way it should have been. Like I shouldn't have to hammer it in place. And even though I was hammering it in place, it was still not being flush to the wall. So it was just causing more stress than necessary. And I was just tired and frustrated and not happy. So I decided to go to Home Depot and I rented a miter saw. And this idea was the best idea and the game changer of this entire project. Because instead of having to make multiple trips to Lowe's to have it cut even more, I can make the custom adjustments and cuts myself. And this made the experience and the project go 10 times faster because I was controlling how much time and effort I put into the exact measurements and I didn't have to get in my car and go and have additional cuts made because the measurements were not correct for the wall. It's now time to adhere the MDF boards to the wall as a gauge of how I want the spacing to be. I use the MDF board that I'm using to space out the boards as as a gauge for how much spacing I want to be, I want it to be vertically. And I use the leveler to make sure that everything is straight. Once I've adhered it to the wall with the liquid nails or construction adhesive, I will then use a nail gun to make sure that it stays in place and I usually put about one or two nails probably like two or three nails to the plank to make sure that it stays in place and I'm repeating the same step throughout the entire wall so right now we're going to do the vertical plank and I am putting the construction adhesive to the board once I've made sure that the entire plank is adhered to the board I will use my leveler to make sure that everything is straight the last thing you want is a cricket board because 
when it's too late and it's adhered to the wall, it just becomes a pain in the butt to try to remove it and fix it. So I'm making sure that everything is in place, you know, um, and pushing it in place. And then after that, I will use the nail gun to make sure that everything stays in place. You guys, look at this wall. I think I did a pretty good job. So now we're going to caulk any of the cracks and um, just make sure that it's a very seamless accent wall. And so I'm kind of showing you here how I use the caulking. Then I apply my finger. And as you can see, once you apply your finger to the caulking, it kind of like makes the wall and the MDF board one. So that's one of the things I really love about it. For some reason, it's just super satisfying. I don't know why, but it just is.